It is Wellness Week here on Daytime. All week long, we've showed you the places that help you keep your wellness in check. Female urinary incontinence and pelvic organ prolapse are more common than you might think, estimated to affect one in three women over the ages of 40. But it's often not talked about or treated because many women find it embarrassing or mm. afraid of surgery. Mm -hmm. Silver Cross Hospital wants to make sure you don't suffer in silence. Dr. Nala Murhi joins us now with how her team can help. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Let's first of all make sure that people understand what urinary incontinence and prolapse is because they're very different things, but they can affect a lot of women, especially mm -hmm. if you've had babies. That's correct. So urinary incontinence, as the word says, is involuntary leak of urine when the woman doesn't want it to happen. And there is two categories, the urge incontinence and the stress incontinence. Okay. With urge incontinence, the bladder is overactive or nervous. So patients complain of frequent urination. I have to go always to the bathroom. I know every bathroom and everywhere I go and often wake up at night many times to pee. And um, the urgency sometimes is uncontrollable that the patient can't make it on time mm -hmm. and they start having large volume of urine leaking. Mm -hmm. The stress incontinence is because the bladder is dropped. Okay. So women usually have leakage of urine with exertion coughing, sneezing, yeah. lifting heavy, mm -hmm. and often say, I have to squeeze my legs whenever I cough or laugh, not mm -hmm. to have the urine oh, leakage. Yeah. Yes, and then that can lead to prolapse, or prolapse is just another separate issue? Prolapse can happen with and without incontinence, okay. but often happens with urine incontinence, even sometimes with stool incontinence. Okay. Oh. So what prolapse of the pelvis is? The, the pelvis of the woman has a pelvic floor, mm -hmm. which is a layer of muscles that is holding up all the organs, the bladder, the uterus, the rectum, and the bowels. So imagine there is a tear in the pelvic floor, often with childbirth, and sometimes with just simply lifting very heavy. With wear and tear, that tear gets bigger, and one of the organs starts herniating, and sometimes all of them herniate. Oof. So in that case, patients come to us complaining, oh, I feel like there is a bulge or a ball in my vaginal area. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's big enough that they learn how to push it up to be able to urinate or oh to have a bowel movement. Yes. And in extreme cases, all the organs come outside the body <sighs> and the patient even cannot perform very basic things like sitting comfortably oh or goodness. even walking. Okay, so what, is, yeah, what do you do to treat both of those issues? So it depends. If the woman has incontinence, first we do a test. We call it urodynamic testing, okay. which I compare it to patients to the EKG of the heart, this EKG of the bladder, and we categorize her. Do you have urge incontinence or nervous bladder or stress? Okay. Nervous bladder, we relax the bladder with basically starting with the basic. Diet modification, pelvic floor exercises, and Kegels. And mm -hmm. believe me, 40% improvement happens, and women are usually surprised. Okay. If that doesn't work, we take medications. If medications don't work, we relax the bladder with Botox injections mm -hmm. in the office every six months. Mm -hmm. It is magical, like Botox everywhere else <laughs> in the body, oh. and patients feel very happy. If this doesn't work, in extreme cases where diapers are used, we insert a sacral neuromodulation, which is an electric device in the buttocks area, to directly stimulate the nerve of the bladder to relax. Oh, so those for nervous bladder, for stress incontinence where the bladder is dropped, we have to lift it. How do we lift it? By inserting a tape we call sling. This sling is typically a tape that we insert in the surgery center 15, 20 minutes, hmm. and patient goes home same day and feels a huge difference right away. And I have good news that there is also the mini slings, which are only this long and this wide, that could be inserted even under local anesthesia. Oh, wow. So guess what? You can have your bladder lifted and then go have lunch with your friends. Oh, oh isn't that okay. Okay. Back to work or to your family. And so if you're very busy or if you are just too sick to have a general anesthesia, you can have your bladder lifted under local anesthesia and go back to your life without any restrictions. And you're using robotics in some cases for these surgeries? Yes, absolutely. So the bladder incontinence is typically done with just a sling, but for uh, major prolapses, yeah. we fix the prolapse with either vaginal surgery or robotic surgery. No longer big cuts, tiny incisions in the abdomen, as big as the prolapse can be, and in one hour, you're fixed. You go home wow. same day, and typical recovery time is usually two days of needing pain medications, mm. and that's it. And Silver Cross is really leading the way in, in helping women 
Absolutely. We are the Midwest Institute of Robotic Surgery, the busiest in robotic in Chicago land. Mm. And I myself has been also an epicenter for robotic surgery for more than 14 years. Surgeons fly to train with me in doing robotic surgery, gynae and urogyne, safely and efficiently. And I'm also happy and proud that I was designated recently to be the first and only virtual center of education hmm. for pelvic floor by Boston Scientific, which is the leading pharmaceuticals and incontinence uh, companies, uh, to train surgeons virtually and in person on how to do the bladder slings and the pelvic prolapse surgeries. Very happy and proud with that. So women should not be really suffering. It's yes, not worth it. no, not All women say after easy. surgery, why did I even wait? That's <laughs> yeah. the only thing they say. That oh is gosh. amazing. Well, doctor, thank you so much for joining us. A lot of thank really good you information. Thank for the opportunity. Mm -hmm. uh, grab those phones and scan the QR code for more information about Silver Cross Hospital. Be sure to give them a call or visit silvercross.org. You can also follow them on Facebook at Silver Cross Hospital. To make an appointment with Dr. Nala Murhi, the number is right there on your screen.